that sounds fascinating. I know how to run servers. I kind of made a name for myself doing that. So let me reach out to them and see how I can get it. We understood that there was a very high chance that we would not make any profit off of this for a long, long time. In fact, this month was my first profitable month running an RPC. I had a really long conversation with a guy named Tropics. And he's someone that I like really trust for like objective advice. And he was like, look, dude, you're like really good at the tech. You're really good at ASICs. You're really good at miners. You're really good at validators. Like maybe step away from the NFTs and lean more into this side of things. That like we had this conversation in like May of last year. And at that point, like I really did like de-risk tremendously out of NFTs and focus more and more and more that was around when I started Juicy Steak too. So yeah. I had been running RPCs for Genesis Go and then I started Juicy Steak. So that has really been my primary focus in the ecosystem since then. Absolutely. The whole sort of node ecosystem and the infrastructure, mm -hmm. like I think it's just become more prominent, I think in the last six months with people talking about staking and nodes and Satoshi, the Nakamoto coefficient and yeah. and all these sorts of things, right? And and it wasn't really like that, but then it sort of took off and, and you had a lot of these RPC providers that are, RPC as a service. And I don't know how many there are now, but but there's a lot. So yeah. uh, just a lot of people getting into that sort of thing. You're like, well, look, I have a bit of a background in this previously, probably makes sense that I focus on this. I think Solana's yeah. kind of a go. So then what do you do next? Genesis Go, Juicy Steak, what was the trajectory there? So Genesis Go, they had their Mint and then their IDO at the very end of 2021. And that's when they announced, we're going to start building out a decentralized infrastructure provider. So anyone who has technical skills who can spin up an RPC can join the Genesis. Genesis Go was known for having an extraordinarily massive RPC network. They had hundreds of RPCs deployed around the world and offered it for free. Yeah. That is extraordinarily expensive of an undertaking, right? And beyond that, Genesis Go evolves and they're learning more and more about technology. They actually made some tremendous hires behind the scenes and without revealing too much, there are some extraordinary things being worked on where now the RPC is like this tiny little piece of the pie considering the things that Genesis Go is working on behind the scenes. A lot of that is known now with the advent of Dagger and the Shadow Cloud and things like that, how we use those yet to be revealed. So that was the entire point of Genesis Go in the beginning. And now it's this tiny sliver of the pie. So their idea there was, OK, what we should do is we should allow other people to drop their hardware basically behind our load balance so yep. that they can just be a part of the network. And when people pay us to use the RPCs, we'll just send all the money to them direct, like yep. on chain, 100% goes to the operators. So me, January of 2022, one year ago, I was like, that sounds fascinating. I know how to run servers. I kind of made a name for myself doing that. So let me reach out to them and see how I can get it. And they had a very small select group of people that were volunteered to do it. We understood that there was a very high chance that we would not make any profit off of this for a long, long time. In fact, this month was my first profitable month running an RPC. Congratulations. Uh, nearly, yeah. So I ran them at a nearly total loss for a year. And they're very expensive. They're much more expensive to run than a validator, like yeah. significantly more expensive to run than a validator.